first start and not the result you would have wanted, but you seem to perform pretty well out there. Yeah, I don't think the uh, scoreboard reflects how uh, tight we are in that game. I think the last 20s just been uh, let us down, but I, th I feel like the scoreboard did reflect uh, our performance. Can you talk just a bit about your kind of attitude going in? Obviously, it was the biggest test that you played, but yeah. did you get yourself up for this one? I mean, it's easy against the All Blacks, I guess, but you look pretty decent out there. Yeah, I just play my game. Nothing changes for me, I don't think. Um, just I go into the um, game with the same attitude. Even if I wasn't playing international, I just go into every game giving my all. With that defeat, you've got the Springboks next. Um, what do you need to tidy up on for that one? It doesn't get easier, does it? Um, I think uh, we could go up another level in physicality, uh, discipline as well, I think. It's a few penalties that we did need to give as well, so we could be better on discipline, but yeah. Just in terms of this game as a whole, was, was this probably the first time your parents were able to watch you play and your family come to the ground? Yeah. In Wales at least? Yeah, of course. I never experienced anything like that. We went out the uh, tunnel today and uh, yeah, it's um, really happy to uh, get out there and perform today. So how do you view your um, progression through the, the ranks uh, this year in what's probably one of the most congested play, uh, shirts in Welsh rugby? There's <coughs> so many uh, great players been in that shirt in the last uh, few years. Has it been more rapid than you expected? Um, yes yeah, so and no. Um, obviously, the seven jersey in Wales is always competitive. Uh, for me, I just uh, play my game and obviously I play with quality players in six and eight in, uh, in Ross and uh, Armory Mike, so yeah, it's good to have him around me today. It's unfortunate to Ross. I uh, don't know what's happened to him, but yeah, it's good to be around them when I'm on the pitch. And South Africa next week, an even more physical side, if you can have that? Yeah, we just need to bring it next week, go up another level, I think. I think we've got another gear in us to go up again, so yeah, looking forward to it. Hi, Tim, it's Alex again. From what you've seen of Alan Wynn, uh, in the time that you've known him, do you expect him to sort of be back straight, straight back out there? Yeah, of course. You've seen with the Lions that, you know, he's come back in the record time, so, yeah, he's obviously a tough bloke, so, yeah, I should expect for him to come back. Obviously, like, kind of change him afterwards in terms of, you know, there's a lot of battle and bruised bodies, but also in the messages from Alan Wynn has. Um, yeah, it's always disappointing, you know, um, to see it now many points, but, you know, I think some of us can be proud of our performance I think we put in a good shift of 60 plus minutes. Um, obviously, discipline and uh, the last 20 didn't go our way, so yeah, I think just now we just look forward to next week and uh, really bringing it to Saka. Yeah. Um, in terms of players in your position, who have you sort of looked up to and sort of learned, learned from over the years? Um, I think when I've been around first first sort of camps, Tip Rick is obviously a great rugby player and great uh, great intelligent player as well to be around. So I learned a bit off him. Um, obviously with Austin Wayne at Dragons, I learned a lot of them as well. And then obviously people I look up to when I was younger was like Jerry Collins and Peter Tia Tia. So yeah, it's really good. It's a really good place to be at the minute. This is like Jerry Collins today. It's a really special thing, I guess. Yeah, of course, they are obviously outstanding players in the time and I really looked up to him when I was younger. Just want to know, do you have any sort of uh, a different feeling going into this match? Obviously, big international, but, but facing up against the All Blacks as well and, and facing the Harker for the first time, what was the experience like for you? And at what point did you kind of just get over there, I guess, and, and just get into you know, playing the rugby game and you won it? No, obviously it's, um, it's a great occasion to come out. Uh, I think it's my first time in front of a sold out crowd. Uh, uh, so that was a great occasion facing the hacker as well. That's a great sort of experience to face. But um, yeah, I just focus on my game and do what I can and just do my role for the team. Thank you.